Okay, so we ran into a little issue. Apparently under the bed, there was a entrance from the outside and where you could open it up and you push luggage and stuff in there. Well, apparently there was uh, the seal wasn't too great around that area and water came in. Um, so that's got to be resealed. The joist is pretty much done but it's not um it's great like right here but josh is going to replace all that and i think it he thinks it might have went up in the bathroom a little bit too so he's gonna have to pull the floor up in there too just just to make sure so all this floor over here seems to be fine um the joists are okay so he's gonna rip up well he's already ripped it up so he's ripped up all that and He's going to replace all that piece. But apparently that was the only soft spot that that he's found in the RV. So we'll keep you guys updated. Ready to spark?
I think I've talked my husband into taking this out and this out. Hopefully he's going to get that out too. Is that wet? Mm -hmm. Done dry. I'm okay. good. So this is safe here. Mm -hmm. I still gotta replace it. So the work cut out for me with this project alone. It's a little after midnight. I think we're going to call it a night. So he got all the joists up and um, replaced them. We've got to get some insulation. We actually, he actually figured out that the leak was actually coming from the door, from the bathroom, and not necessarily this little opening. Um, so we got to get some kilts to spray the wood that's not really rotten, but just to keep any mold or mildew from um, growing. Um, so we just used some leftover wood, refurbished old wood that we had. We didn't have to spend any money on that. Haven't done anything else in this room. He's It kind of extends into the bathroom, so he had to cut that out. And then we'll put a piece of um, plywood on top of that and we'll be ready to put the bed back in. So I did do a coat of paint on the walls and another coat on in the kitchen and another coat over here. And that's about it for tonight and we're going to call it a night. Talk to you guys tomorrow.